Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I still can't believe the old ones can fly. They were capable of a lot of things. Good and bad. Sure seems like it. Right. I wonder what it's like up there, among the stars. Who knows, Val? The wilds have really grown over this place. Yeah. Show off. <laughs> yes, I am. My focus might be able to help here. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. There we go. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. Yeah, but who doesn't love exploring creepy ruins or abandoned places? What is that? A giant robot worm. Graboids are back. Oh, my guard is up. Oh, yeah, rocks. We can. Stop breathing in the deadly red plant spores. Up here. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that clearly missed, but I'll take it. Gotcha. Burrower. Mine's down too. Good job, Val. didn't search it for scraps come on Val this is kind of what we do we kill machines and we steal their parts Why are you throwing rocks? They know we're here. Damn it. Oh, 
Well, this went horribly wrong. I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry, my whiskers offend you, anointed. <laughs> yeah, she likes her men clean shaven. Not a fan of the beard, Aloy. Eh, Right, let's restock on these berries since I used a lot to heal myself. Gimme. What's under here? More berries. I'll take them. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. Oh, poor little creature. You out there, Val? must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Take the shards. They'll be Looks useful. Like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Oh, yes. This for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. No. Careful. Traps ahead. Oh, might be able to disarm them. And you just walk casually right into them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow it. yourself up. And got more supplies. Yeah, well, we always risk blowing ourselves up, Val. It's kind of what we do. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against the machines. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osser will show us some shields. I might be able to find some supplies for them. All right, let's grab some supplies. I can use this. Die, bucket head. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to all dummies. Is there any more? No. to craft a trap there explosive trap made if anything walks into one of those it won't know what hit it that's the idea Scrounger. It's new to me. 
Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe oh, this is a new one. Okay. It's a you. Wait, hold on. Right, okay. Press pressing down just places the trap. It doesn't uh Can I make another one to make up for that embarrassing th Yep. Yeah. There we go. Looks very similar to the, uh, was it just the normal scavengers in the last one? Cut the way, Val! Val, what are you doing? Get into cover, man, for goodness sake, what are you doing? Thank you. Oh. Come on. I want to see what this bomb can do. Nice. Don't worry about it, your friend's just dead. A borrower. Okay. Okay, I can get to your tracks, that's fine. The borrowers seem easier to deal with than these guys, so I'll place another bomb for you, and then we'll deal with the uh, diggy dude. Oh no, the borrower's already dead. Fair enough. Right there in the crossroad. Val! Val! Come on, little robot. Yeah, robot, robot, robot! We're clear. Hell yeah. Let's keep going then. I like these traps. Supplies, I want them all. A lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Where are you? I feel like that's a question I should be answering. Secrets, but every place is different. That machine we saw earlier must be on the move. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. 
Yeah. Oh, here we go. Nicely done. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winded. Mm. This data mentions this. Uh, negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded, and I am exceptionally pleased that we've arrived at a mutually beneficial agreement, profitable agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt, in contrast to the less tactful recommendations of, cer uh, of certain members of our more re reactionary members. In short, VAR Zenith will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archive already sent, 500 ectogenic chambers to be retrieved from storage to our Ninma facility, supplementary ectogenesis research reports. In exchange, Farsenif will receive a copy of the alpha build of the Apollo database in the week prior to the Odyssey's launch. By our estimates of Zero Dawn's timeline, by then it should be a near complete uh, repository of human knowledge. It should be noted that Dr. Sobek was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand making it clear that this was a non-negotiable term. As our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communications with Dr. Sobek's team while data corrupted. The tech that Farzenith traded with Zero Dawn, it doesn't explain how they got a backup. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Good man, Val. Oh, was that just catching Val? Okay. Well, I'll go through there. Is that the one I already scanned? Yeah. All right, I think we're good. Looks like we've got to climb up. Of course we do. Would it be a Horizon game if there wasn't climbing involved? Oh wait, hold on. Just where we took out those... Hold on. That looks like the way we came. Well, that's alright then. That's the way we came, I don't need to explore it. Well, it is a thousand years old. Yep. Yeah. Even concrete can't uh, withstand the test of time. Alright, that's just a random ledge. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. 
The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself so she made me to bring her back i'm the only one who can and this place is my last hope you once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into all mother mountain was that this gaia yes but she's not the goddess Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Good boy, Val. Over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah. That will be useful. Can't see any shinies around here, so no data, no Down skin. Here. Ow. Oh, okay. I think we're almost back outside. Good. All right, there's nothing up there. But wherever it is, I couldn't scan it. Nice. Gotcha. 
big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Looks like we can cross over here. All right, well, I should go that way, but I want to see what's down here. Hey, fish. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. Any secrets? All right, then. Sorry, Val, you're going to have to go around the long way. Go on, let's give him his own pool caster. I can't be spending all my time waiting for him to catch up. saw back in the auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars in that. Oh, another data point. Journey filled with hastily scrawled glyphs. Or journal. Day one, we descended into the valley and breached the ruins. Boss always had a good sense uh, for delve sites and by the forge, was he right? This place is untouched, had to knock down a few machines while we were moving our gear. Pesky things keep popping out of the ground, but otherwise we've got the whole place to ourselves. Set up camp near the main entrance. Uh, Faruf nearly jumped out of his skin when he dropped his hammer and it went a clanging. And it went a clanging down the stairs. Kid's first delve, I, I reckon even if he swears otherwise, he's lucky this one. Uh, this one's above ground at least. Day two. Push further into the ruins, Bross tests out his latest prototype, what he's calling a hook and pull. Name needs work if you ask me. I show uh, for Ruff a simple trick to evaluate salvage. The less it's rusted, the higher the price it'll fetch in Meridian. Good trick. All in all, a good day, until he insisted he saw the, the trees shaking across the river. Kids jumping in a frog on hot coals. Day four. Oh, a deep rumble in the dead of night. Land shake, maybe, but it's got the whole crew on edge. Boss ordered half of us to set up a second camp further in. Figures we'll pick this place clean faster if we split up. No arguments there. I think I'll set up uh, a training dummy for Faroof. He can barely hold his own against a borrower. Excuse me. Day six. Only a few of, a few of us left. Kid didn't make it. Machine blasted him with acid at the river crossing you can hear it slithering outside few more minutes rest then we're going to make a run for and you didn't make it more Osram. machines tore right through them these guys couldn't catch a break no they could not machines patrolling ahead 
We can tag them in the focus to keep track. Not enough resources. Damn. How did you spot me? Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm dead. All right. Well, that went horribly. Yeah, I know about the machine's eye color. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Well, they're both borrowers, so where did that sc uh, scrounger come from? There we go. Yes, that's how you do it. That's where you are. Val, what the hell are you doing? Ladder, Val just said. Machine rip 
right through the wall. <coughs> Damn it. Uh, phone calls while recording, they're the bane of my existence. Right, where, right. There we go. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Was she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Hush. Again, that's part of being a war chief, I suppose. Okay, this is where I need to be. Climbing up to go back down. Makes sense. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Three of those things. And if they slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy. Trust me. <laughs> all right. Sounds like a plan. However, I have to go pick somebody up from the station, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.